in this example, let's find the longitude and latitude of point A. First step, you write A and you open a bracket. Next, you read the latitude line. The latitude line is the horizontal lines and this horizontal line falls at 60. Hence, you write 60 degrees. Next, you put a comma and you read the longitude. The longitude are the lines that are vertical and this falls at 90 degrees. Hence, you're going to write 90 degrees. Next, this latitude is always the first one and must end with either north or south. So decide, is it north or south that will be coming in here? Because I'm considering the latitude, the latitude, the equator, divides the earth into two. Hence, this is the northern part. Hence, this will be north. Similarly, this is the longitude. The longitude is either east or west at the end. Now, you decide which will be written here. Because this is longitude, the longitude line splits the earth into two at the prime of Meriden. Hence, this is the east and this is the west. This point falls on the west. Finally, you close the bracket. This is the coordinate of point A. Let's figure out point F on the map. The first step, you write F. Next, you open your coordinate. Next, consider the latitude line first. The latitude line runs as a ladder, like this. Hence, if this is 30, 40 will be here, and this is approximately 50. My latitude is 50 degrees. Next, put a comma. Next, read the longitude line. The longitude line runs like this. If this is 60, here is possibly a 70. That's why it's called an estimated location. Hence, I will write 70 degrees. Next, Will north come in here or south? However, this is latitude. And latitude is splitted at the middle from the equator. This is the north and this is the south. And this point is on the northern part. So here will be north. Next, this is longitude. Hence, here will be east or west. The longitude line splits the earth into two from the prime meridian. And here is the west and here is the east. However, this point is on the east. Hence, here becomes east. Finally, close the coordinate. This is our answer. Figure out the positions of E, D, C, and B as an assignment. Complete this assignment, writing out the latitude and longitude of each point on the map. You can see trace the latitude and longitude of points on this map by following the bends lines along the meridian. It's important to complete the assignment and you practice more. As a construction and civil engineering surveyor, it's important to understand the concept of latitude and longitude on the equipment you are using. Though the equipment displays the results, but it's your responsibility to interpret the data accurately. I believe this was helpful. I will see you in the next video.